From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Happy first day of meteorological spring. I'm student meteorologist Kelly in class. We have an active day here today in terms of weather and precipitation. We had severe thunderstorm warnings, even tornado warnings out towards the western portions and the southern portions of the state. Although we are still left with a severe thunderstorm watch in the southeastern portions of the state until around 7 p.m. That can bring some heavy wind, some heavy rain, even some damaging wind. And we can see that here on the satellite. We still have some heavy downpours, although we don't have any more of those severe thunderstorm warnings in the state. We still have some severe thunderstorm warnings, though, around the southern portion of New Jersey. But here in Pennsylvania, the last uh, severe thunderstorm warning that we had it did expire about a half hour ago, and that was in Allentown. Although, don't let this radar fool you. I, Allentown, you still have another batch of rain coming to you. And then here in State College, we will still be left with some rain overnight into tonight. And that rain will even possibly bring some snow tonight. But then tomorrow looks to be clearing up and a bit cooler as temperatures will drop in the next couple of days. And then the snow showers will return Thursday night into Friday afternoon. Although we're taking a look right now over the Penn State golf courses, we have that those deck of clouds making its way into the area. We had some sunshine earlier. Now those clouds are going to return back for our, another chance of rain for later tonight. Though temperatures still really warm here sitting at 57 degrees. Kind of the same story here in Harrisburg, though. They're still really warm. They're at 62 degrees, although you could really see those clouds in the background. So they haven't experienced that sunshine yet, although they will see that very soon. Although temperatures right now still really warm in the state. Philadelphia, you are at the warmest at 72, although these temperatures won't last for long as overnight and tonight will start to dip down cooler and then tomorrow morning, that's when we'll start to, you know, uh, see the temperatures not really warm up like we have today and yesterday as we go through the future weather. You can see by Thursday afternoon, temperatures in the upper 30s and even low 30s depending on where you are. So we're not going to get some warmth here in the next couple of days as we go on Friday. We're still going to be a bit cold, but we still we will see that warm up this weekend into next week. The temperature, uh, the satellite and radar. Here's a system that moved through earlier it weekend by the time it got to the eastern portions of the state. We are just left with some clouds here, depending on where you are, although the next batch of rain is coming. But take a look at how long the system is. It starts all the way from Canada all the way down to Louisiana. And then over here, this is where our snow is going to be for tonight. It's not going to be sticking because of the warmer temperatures, although we will have that chance for snow. And we can see that here on the future weather. So by early this morning, by or by early tomorrow morning, that's when we start to see the rain and the snow make its way into the area. But, but then by Thursday afternoon, beautiful skies here, not really a lot of clouds or precipitation. Although Friday, it's going to be a different story as this rain makes its way into the southern area of the state. That won't really hit us as bad as it will the southern portions, although we could be left with some flurries, maybe even a dusting or two, and that is because the temperatures are really starting to decrease now. But then by Friday evening, we should really be okay in terms of precipitation. The next three days, though, take a look at those temperatures. 40 degrees on Thursday. Friday is when we dip down to 34 degrees. And then Saturday, we start to slowly rise back up. We're at 36 degrees. Friday, like I said, is that chance for some snow showers early afternoon, but then by the evening hours, those should clear out. And then Saturday, we're left with a beautiful day with sunshine and some clouds and temperatures on the rise. Although your forecast for tonight, though, 32 degrees, rain and snow, like I said earlier, it's going to be a bit breezy. So if you are planning to go out, bundle up, it's going to be a bit cold out there. Bring that umbrella with you, too. Tomorrow, though, your forecast is going to be 40 degrees with a with beautiful skies and it's going to be a bit cooler and then those temperatures will start to decrease as we take a look at the seven day forecast. So like I said, those temperatures will start to decrease and then once we hit Saturday, the temperatures will start to rise again. And by Sunday, we could see highs in close to the um, low 60s and then the week really looks to be pretty clear. Although Friday, like I said, we do have those chances for this precipitation event early Friday into the into the afternoon hours on Friday, but then we should be okay.